Hello and welcome to Legislative Report. I'm State Representative Mario Scavello of the 176th District in Monroe County. On today's show, first of all, I'm so excited about today's show because I have Robin and Kimberly Smith, and they produced uh, a show to, to, that, in my mind, equals Miracle on 34th Street. What a great Christmas show. And I'm joined today by my wife, Mary Ann Scavello, who is a big proponent of the show, and it's something that we haven't missed, Mary Ann, in five years since the no. show's inception, right? Nope. So, Robin, first, let's start with you, and you've got to tell me what inspires you to write the show. Well, we wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. we, we love Christmas, the holidays, and it's a time when people get very busy. And we felt we wanted to do something that would bring cheer and joy to people and make it funny. And so we got together, our team, and we decided to write something called, and we called it Change. Mm -hmm. And so we have characters that we made up in this um, magical town of Stroudsville, which is a pun on Stroudsburg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we write about, you know, these characters that need change, you know, the the butcher is, you know, nasty and doesn't want to donate to the Christmas fund or, you know, whatever it is. And um, it's just, it's full of, it's great for the family and it's fun. And so that's how we started it. We wrote it in 2008 and here we are, five years and going. Yeah. I remember the first show when I, I received an invitation. It was a Friday night or a sad, was it Saturday, Saturday. night? Yeah, Saturday. Saturday night. night and uh, there was a storm and it was a foot of snow. Yep. Especially at the top of the mountain. If you have a foot down there, then you can add another six inches for the top of the mountain. And uh, I, I know you had called me today earlier and said the show was still on. I'm still after all the snow. And I called. And I, cause I had Marianne ready to go. We wanted to see this. And so I called and said, no, the show's still on. Yep. And uh, we came down in that snow. And uh, it, I don't, we don't regret it. It was a great show, wasn't Wonderful. it, Marion? Now, the first show was at the church. The first couple of shows were at the church. Yeah, the first three shows were at the church. Mm -hmm. And then the last two have been at the, the local Sherman Theater in Stroudsburg. And this year it'll be there, too, which is a, a bigger venue exactly. than our church. And um, so it's just been from the, the humble, small beginnings. And we remember when you called and said you were coming, we were like, yes, because it, it was so much snow. It's like, who's going to come to the show? Uh -huh. And, you know, um, but you and Marianne, you were sitting right on the front row. And, and that really gave us that confidence that, wow, this, this show is going to be something. We have our state representative and his wife here. And, you know, so because we did so much advertising and then no one came out in the snow. And here you come all the way down from the mountain yeah. mm -hmm. in your, you know, your truck and you came. That was a big <laughs> <Yeah>. deal. <laughs> that was a big deal. Yeah. We were in the back when you walk when you walked in and we found out we got word that oh he's in the building. <laughs> oh my gosh. We, we had our microphones on downstairs and we're all everyone's scurrying to quickly get ready and we were just suddenly someone's like is your mic on? Did he hear everything? But I don't think he did. I don't think he heard anything. Representative <laughs> Mario's here. I wouldn't have said anything anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you would have got a kick out of it. Well, you know, you, you'd breezed on it fairly quickly, but um, it really tells a message. Mm -hmm. And um, it shows, the, the show, in my mind, teaches people on the, the reason for Christmas mm -hmm. and sharing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think you're Miss, Mrs. Change there. Yes. Well, and that's the name of the show, by the hey, way, hey, so yeah. Change. Um, talk about your part, because uh, Kimberly, you, you play a big part. You're the, yeah. silver, the silver lady. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Change is more, Change is magical. It's a magical quarter that comes to life mm -hmm. to bring change to Stroudsville. And wherever Change goes, uh, wherever the, the quarter travels, whoever touches it they suddenly start to change and so it represents you know like a spirit or whatever you call it the magical feeling of mm -hmm. Christmas and so change is um, very I put a lot of character into the role and um, just playful and silly and um, you know change touches the hearts of people mm -hmm. and so where you know just someone finds what uh, love is or just you know give somebody uh, let me think a, a present or, or something like that just people's hearts are changed when, when change comes into their business or or even a child, we have a child in the, the, um, the not, I don't know, the homeless child, um, mm -hmm. he, the, the paper boy, mm -hmm. he, even the child starts to change and feel loved, you know, so it's all ages and uh, yeah, change is pretty fun. And you can feel it. 
Yeah. If you're in the audience, you could feel that change. Yeah. You could see it in each one of the characters. Mm -hmm. the, the characters do such a great job of, of, you know, you can see it, you can feel it. You know, my wife Mary Ann, I think she comes here just for the quarters. I think so. <laughs> let's let's yeah. talk about these yeah. quarters here. We have five of them. And, uh, Go ahead, Mary Ann. You tell them. Well, at the end of the play, uh, we are given one quarter. Mm -hmm. And because it did change my life, I do carry them with me wherever I go. And right now I have five of them. Yeah. They do weigh down my pocketbook, <laughs> but I don't mind because it brings a wonderful change. Aww. Yeah. And those are the original quarters. She has originals. not. Yes. We give one to each uh, member of the audience at the end. And you've been to all five shows. And so. I carry them with me. Mary Ann comes for the quarters. Yeah, she does. She's going to be rich. <laughs> There's a change. Um, and I notice that the props get better. Yeah. That yes. the And especially, I guess, with on the bigger stage also. But you can see that there's time put into the, into the play itself. Um, I can tell you that each one of the plays, I actually look forward to it and, and I tell people about it because it really is a great Christmas story. And what a, what a nice um, uh, venue in the, the, at the Sherman to, 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 get, to get more people to experience it. But, um, it, you know, I, last year, I, my biggest crowd ever, I thought. Yes. And I anticipate this year will even be better. And actually, while we're speaking, we're showing some clips of the show mm -hmm. and some photos from the show. Um, and I didn't know you could sing, Kimmy. You've got a oh. nice little voice there. Thank got you. That theatrical <laughs> voice. So, so you've got it. You have it from sister here. <laughs> yeah. I think in our whole family has that, you know, just that music. And yeah. you were talking about the props, and that's something that it's just amazing how as the years progress and you really just, you know, your craft gets better. Sure. You know, what you're good at. And, and this year we added, um, past year we added the whole ESU dance team right you know they were a big yeah. you know plus to have and it just makes the you know the stage like wow like all yeah. the dancers and you know we're adding so this year you know we're, we're in the years to come we're looking about doing a live orchestra because the Sherman has an orchestra pit mm -hmm. and so we're looking at you know adding all those things and we always say you know we love the Poconos, and so Broadway and the Poconos, you know, you don't, mm -hmm. we, everybody loves to go to, you know, Rockefeller Center or Radio City, and, but, you know, we could do it right here. We have the talent, mm -hmm. you know, in the Poconos, and Absolutely. so we train up a lot of kids on, on our team through the church, and then just from ESU students we speak to, and mm -hmm. so it's, it's amazing. By the way, mention your church, because we, we, we haven't said, we're, we mentioned Labor it. of Love USA. It's mm -hmm. a non-denominational Christian church in East Stroudsburg, and we do a lot of ministry outreach. That's our biggest, uh, plus in our church. We mm -hmm. just work a lot with the community. That's you know what, I, I, you, you help a lot, you work a lot with kids, with young men and women, right? And yes. to me, that's important because, mm -hmm. you, you know, they tend to leave the church and we want to, you, you bring them in and you're holding them on, you get involved. And, and tell about what you do in the, in the, in the summer, like. <laughs> what, what? Well, today, <laughs> even yeah. starting today, yeah. uh, we're looking to start our first games today. I run a summer basketball league. Mm -hmm. It's for ages 10 to 22. It's co-ed. It's fun, affordable, competitive, and uh, amazing. <laughs> how many? How many uh, children? How many? Last, yeah. yeah. Last year there was over 200 kids involved. Yes. Mm -hmm. Participants. Wow. Yep. And um, unfortunately, I, I had to turn a few away, which I dislike mm -hmm. doing, uh, only because we just couldn't fit them all with mm -hmm. our, our time frame but uh, obviously I'm looking to grow this year I'm anticipating you know more kids coming down and I get um, asking coaches asking me can I bring my whole team sure not a problem but uh, it's open to everyone and we play at um, two local parks Dansbury Park and in Stroudsburg the third street Helen Amherst mm -hmm. Park and uh, for eight weeks long about two games a week it's thirty dollars for ages 10 to 12 Wow. And this year, if you bring, I, I said, I'm promoting, if you bring your report card showing you have an 85 average or higher, mm -hmm. you get $5 off. Mm -hmm. Wow. Parents love that. That's They've been bringing them all down. That, that's an inspiration. By the way, this is going to air way beyond this summer. Wow. Good. This show. <laughs> but it's a good promo for next year. Yeah. <laughs> Will they still get the $5 off? Yeah. Yes. 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 Definitely. So it is a good warning now. Let the, let the students out there know that it... Have that report card, yeah, yeah and uh, <laughs> you get five dollars off next yeah. year. So it's a great program. Yes. But I didn't want to sway. I didn't want to, you know. That's great because I wanted people to know what you guys yeah, do. Sure. You're back. You, but um, this play, 
Let's talk about the playlist. Talk about when it's going to air, mm -hmm. and um, let's start there. Yeah. When, when do we? So this year we're booked for the Sherman Theater Sunday, December eighth, mm -hmm. and we don't have our time frame locked in, but mm -hmm. you can just go on the Sherman Theater's website, and all of our information will be up there. You know, by the time this is. So it's a one a one day show. And we might be doing this year two shows in a day. We're not sure. We might do like a matinee and then mm -hmm. something in the evening. We're we're gonna because you know. We, our numbers are going up, mm -hmm. and people are, you know, spreading well, the word about change, yeah. and so yeah. people are coming. You know, I don't want to brag, but I'm telling you, I mean, you, you believe in us, but <laughs> yeah. the talent and the, mm -hmm. really, and the message is just, it's uncomparable. I mean, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I almost, like, it's like I don't even want to take the credit. You know, I think that, you know, God gives us gifts, and if you don't use it, it's a shame. Exactly you know, right. whether, you know, it's you doing your job or whatever it is, you have to use those gifts and mm -hmm. because people leave there with the quarters. <laughs> and if you, I mean, and really quick, a, a real quick story, Kimberly, this is so precious, a little boy, maybe like four years old, you know, comes up after the show and, and, and Kimberly's like, hi, did you get a quarter? Change you know, said change hi. said hi. Change said hi. You know, her character. And yes. he's just like staring like, is this character real? And so he takes the quarter out of his pocket and Kimberly, you know, blows on it. And he's just like holding on to it. Now that family was a friend of ours that we know. And the mother told us he never would sleep alone in his bed because mm -hmm. he just was afraid, you know, four years old, he'd always mm -hmm. want to sleep with the parents. Well, that night, his he says to his mom I think I'm gonna sleep you know by myself and try and the next morning he said to his parents change came to me yeah. and, he, and he slept <laughs> in his room and I mean it's so it's so yeah. precious that, you know you, you, don't, you have no idea the people you touch you, you know don't. you might have some grouches in that audience yeah. that say you know what where have I well, been all this time we could tell you those stories too people who are like we actually had a man uh -huh. that works with us that mm -hmm. very you know he's a great man but he's very like strong willed and just kind of stubborn and he actually came and he said change came to me he said it took me two years to get it yeah he said but it came he goes and I feel something different we were I, like he goes I understand now I understand now change has come to me it's a true what? story really yeah. that's good mm -hmm. yeah. Miriam what was your best part of the show uh, of the play um I enjoy the whole show yeah. there's not one part I just leave there do you have a favorite character like who's someone that makes you oh, laugh yes, a lot please. or <laughs> Tell us. To be honest, ghost. sometimes I like the paper boy. Oh, really? <laughs> I Great. just feel oh. I love his little part. Yeah. Yes. And then how he changes. That's yes. awesome. well, well, our parents, actually, this is a true story. My dad loves the butcher, mm -hmm. the and butcher my too. mom loves the villain. Yeah. And so it's like they don't even say, like, I'm their favorite or kid. I'm like, hello, like we're the stars, you know? And they, my dad's like, oh, I love them. And so it's right. just funny. Everyone, Everyone has. has a special yeah. one. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Mine is the mayor. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> because, you know, I, I was a small town mayor. Right. And, you know, we, we, planned, uh, hmm. we planned different events and, um, and how the, the mayor's secretary follows right, around right, and right. say, take this, make right. notes here, and right, this and that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, the butcher, what, the butcher, she at first, the butcher is very mean, mean and oh, hard. Yeah. Right. And um, not so pretty. We make her, you know, we really do her up where she has a unibrow. She has these real big old moles everywhere and so on and, and so she forth. Yeah, yeah she, she's a wreck at first. But then, you know, she starts to wonder what love is. And she has a thing for the guy next door, you mm -hmm. know, type role. So right there, that's a little a love, you know, scene that we bring to life. And... Um, so the butcher, yeah, she's funny. And there's also the villain. Now, Vaughn Villain is, he's mean and he just doesn't care about anything. And he, you know, steals a little bit here and there. And, um, but then Vaughn, you know, Vaughn eventually uh, gets changed also. But, um, but Vaughn, he's like the villain of the town, grumpy. Yeah. Grumpy. And he gets changed in his own way, where yeah. he still has right. that grumpy side. But you and and that's reality. I mean, people mm -hmm. no people don't change overnight and become right. like everything's roses. Yeah. You know, we're still people and have hangups. Mm -hmm. So we try to. And you know, how many years do we have to catch up to the Rockettes? Um, eighty five, eighty years. Eighty, 80 years. years. So we're we're trying to get you know on that stretch of having change every year. Yeah. And as a household <laughs> name, and and we wrote it. It's copyrighted. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. yeah we copyrighted the production, and so. 
I, I see it only improving every year, and you just make those Thank little you. adjustments as you go right. that makes it even better. You know, I'm, I, you know, I'm thinking ahead now. You said you might have two shows. Miriam, you'll have seven quarters at the yeah. end of this one. Because I, I know you're going to go to both shows. I want to stay. <laughs> Can't miss them. No. Thank you for believing in us, too. Yeah. We, yes. we, we just so appreciate the support that you've shown us and, and mm -hmm. believing it's in It's for us. a great cause. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you guys really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You enjoy portraying those roles. <laughs> you enjoy showing the change and teaching people. And that message, you know, you just, not everybody can pull it off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you, your characters are in, in that play are just beyond belief because you really play your parts real well especially you with the change and you have a beautiful voice Robin you, you know um, it's we always look forward to it it's one of our Christmas and hopefully this year we might have our grandchildren down We'll try. Lovely. We'll try. We'll try to get them there for the show because uh, I want to make it their annual Christmas show as well. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. But in, for me, um, to see something like this start in our little town, right. mm -hmm. and could you? I, I envision this thing growing. That's. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah, Somebody's going to, somebody, the right person is going to see this show or be at your, at your play and say, you know what? This, there's something here. There's a, a Christmas, a Christmas time uh, show for. For, for for our for our area and uh, yes. we're going to show excerpts of the, of the show while we're speaking because I want people to see some of the cast some of this you know it, it, it's absolutely a phenomenal show Thank you. Mm -hmm. and um, you guys are just absolutely uh, you you you, <laughs> <laughs> you you make those you, you make it so easy for someone in that audience to really enjoy that's right mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that was Thank the you. goal yeah we that wanted to goal. connect yeah mm -hmm. and, and that's why we invited you because we wanted to invite you know our leaders in the community mm -hmm. we just didn't want to reach out just to church people mm -hmm. and so we wanted everyone to come all ages from all backgrounds right. And that's what's happening. Yeah. So. Now I, we even brought Representative Brown the last oh, couple of she, years, oh, right? She's a fan. Her, she oh. brings her kids, and, yes. and you know it. Uh, we made we made a we made a believer out of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh huh. But you know that's important because anyone that comes and sees it wants to see it again. Yes. Right. I've I've noticed that I see some of the same faces, you know, yes. because you know um, once they've seen it, they're hooked. <laughs> you know, I remember growing up, um, the um, March of the Wooden Soldiers used to always be on on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You had to see that show, you know, the, and the, the Laurel and Hardy March, probably a little before your time, yeah. girls. Yeah. <laughs> show my age, yeah. But always on Thanksgiving, what you wanted to see that show. And I think this is going to be one of those shows mm -hmm. that around Christmas, this is mm -hmm. the show. Wow. I think so too. And, and, <laughs> I and, hope so. And, yeah, no, I do. And I, 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 I'm hopeful that uh, 13 will come down and, and do something and, and cover it, Blue Ridge, because they do such a fabulous job of, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully they'll come down and give you some coverage as well because that's it. It's just getting the word out. Mm -hmm. right. Once people get there, yep, you've got them. Yeah, you know, yeah, you do. And uh, just get the word out to the community and uh, let people know what's available here. And that there's quality, a quality show, right. and uh, um, it just, that just keeps on improving. And, it, and the gift that keeps on giving, like Marianne here with her quarters, she'll have seven. This is the best. Yeah. Right here. Now Marianne did not expect to sit in on this. Oh, you know. right. She, you know, we just, you know, she just showed up and says, "Come on, we have a, a seat here for you." Yeah. She did not plan this at all. And we did said not. you have to. She's such a fan it's like this is exactly what it's all about. exactly and that's why i thought it's important because she 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 was you know you know i'll tell you the truth after seeing it the first time mm -hmm. when's the show every every day mm -hmm. when's the show? i don't know yet marianne but when's the show <laughs> well we've right? also taken the time mm. and putting something to go and see a wonderful show mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. the time yeah. life is too short you can spend two hours and enjoy a beautiful mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome. That tells a message that, that you yes. leave there inspired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I was able to sleep after that first night also. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, so I know you, you mentioned a few things that we can look forward to. Uh, you're going to have a, you, you'll in the, into the future. Anything special for the show this year? Do you want to just leave out of the... Surprise we, us. Yeah, I mean, we, we always have those little surprises. And believe it or not, the way we work, it just like we a lot of times get those last minute. Uh -huh. we're, we're, we're just like put something together and it comes out amazing. We're like, yeah. wow, ha, like nobody <laughs> else knows that we just did that. That's kind of something that we have. But I, I think this year we're looking to, 
get more involved with you know more theater students in the area too. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, and right. using the Pocono community theater groups and mm -hmm. and you know tapping into those things and coming together right. because I think I think that could just be big on a mm -hmm. big level, you know, and just and then of course then those families get to come out and enjoy it and you know who's mm -hmm. so we're excited about right. that. Well, last year, we like Robin said earlier, the ESU dance team we added um, to that, and usually change has uh, the character change has a solo dance, mm -hmm. but we really built it up and at. You know, what you think of that? I thought that was very good. Isn't that phenomenal? That is solo dance. You had them with you. Yeah. And, uh, it yes. And they, oh boy, just they really brought life to to the to the show, and um, some more characters also. I think we're gonna. You know, there might be a few more um, town people uh, mm. cast, you know, in the back. And uh, like last year, we added even another song, too. Mm -hmm. uh, a balcony scene we added. Right. And, yeah. um, you know, and just getting the dynamics of, you know, making it just bigger, brighter, and everything. Yeah. Um, the change of venue helps improve. The Sherman yeah. Theater has been amazing. Right. I mean, they're they, just their team and their, you know, just what we're able to use there. Um, it's just it's been awesome. You know, it, it to uh, they've done such a fabulous job in the community. That theater, if you went back um, for about twenty some odd years, was closed. Here's a something that was available, you know, there in mm -hmm. in Stroudsburg, and that theater has really helped that whole downtown community Absolutely. because it brings people to the downtown. Mm -hmm. You know, right. after everyone's left, it brings people to the downtown on a Sunday, on a Saturday night yeah. to use the restaurants, mm -hmm. and then they go to the show or after the show. That's right. Um, you know, uh, it helps all those businesses down yeah. there. And oh, it, boy, yeah. And the opportunity it gives for talented folks like you guys to have a, a venue to, sh to show your, 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 your play. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if there's any actors or actresses out there that, mm -hmm. are will that maybe want to be a part of this, you know. Please True. inquire. Please <laughs> inquire. You know, we have a, uh, even on our website, Labor Love USA, mm -hmm. you know, they can contact us on there. Dot org. Dot right. org. Well, actually, yeah. they, org. they could actually put in <laughs> dot org dot com. It would, we, okay. we, we own all the. Uh-huh. But, but, and the Sherman Theater will have all our information when the show is and. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show that information up on the screen with uh, your website and your, te your telephone numbers and everything. And, yeah. and so if someone's interested, they yeah. can give you a call because uh, I... I don't know. She's a pretty tough director, though, so yeah. don't get offended if she doesn't... <laughs> no, she, uh, I mean, we want the best of tough. the best here. We, we don't have, mess around. We have kids that come and, we're, and they're, they're so used to the, the ministry side of us where, we, you know, we're happy and we're just, like, oh, loving yeah. everyone. And then when Kim's like... Get over here! Da, da, da. And they're like, it's like a different face. It is, and they're like, Pull it you over, know change. what we had this year too? And I don't know if you know this. We had a professional. She works on Broadway in theater. Mm -hmm. She uh, is a stage manager. She actually came up, volunteered her time, and helped us with yes. the show. If we didn't have her, that show it wouldn't have been as the way the the flow of the show. Mm -hmm. So we've been at people volunteering too and getting behind us too. That's been a great help. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to close the show out a little bit earlier because what I want to do is show experts of the show. Excellent. Because I want people to to really know what they'll look look forward to and uh, and hopefully that they will be uh, out there Wonderful. this this December December fifth was December that December eighth December eighth mm -hmm. um, and uh, well they get the information on the Sherman uh, Theater website or or on your website. Mm -hmm. Um, looking forward to the show, and uh, thank you both yeah. and, uh, for joining me, Mary Ann. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Ah. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Legislative Report.
And I may say, I have a familiar face. No one knows the reason I'm here just yet. I've been watching over you and God has told me what to do. So please, let me say, I understand that people can get busy. Tyrants change and takes different turns. But there is no excuse for matches this important. Time is of the essence, so why can't they see? Year after year, the stories have been told. They cry, they cry, some hearts grow cold.